Yo, what's good? Today we're gonna be rocking the Dragoon in World Zero. A lot of people have been asking like, yo crew, what's the best pet, bro? I need to know what the best pet is. Bro, I'm just gonna give you a straight up answer. Everybody has a preference and their opinion on which one is the best pet. So everything in this video that you are going to learn is on my opinion and my gameplay. Before we get started, hit that thumbs up. Yeah, woo, and that sub, bro. Because we out here growing like a tree, slowly but surely, you know what I mean? And also, don't forget to join the Discord. It was a successful anime night last night. We were watching Shield Hero, I believe, and or Hero Shield, I don't know which one. I haven't seen it, but it looked pretty interesting and a lot of people came through on the anime night and we were just there just watching it. I was actually watching Reacher in the other room with the wifey, so but it, it looked really interesting. I was like chiming in here and there, but um, a lot of people loved it. So if you guys want to join us on the Discord, there's World Zero Disc, uh, World Zero Chat, World Zero Trading, and then there's Anime Fight. I don't know. There might be other Roblox games that we're gonna be pertaining to anime. So, but hey, I, I'm a huge anime fan. I don't know about you, but I'm probably the number one Naruto fan. Hit me up on the DMs, comment section below. Change my mind. You know what I mean? Uh, we're just gonna be um, showing you a showcase of the Dragoon build that I have right now currently with the white butterfly. As of right now, I do not have um I do not have the life drain that I want because I usually run life drain. So uh we're just gonna try our best to pass this. And I don't have a bob, so I wanna do my best on this as much as possible. So hopefully we do good. With the white butterfly, I am running a um Bonus ult charge 15, bonus walk speed, and bonus gold. Um, so this one's max bonus ult charge. And this one right here is going to be a perfect zero with mob, crit stack, and attack up. I am trying to trade this one for a life drain or try to make a life drain build. Because this is, will only work if you have like perfect life drain. So um, it's all about timing too, to be honest. I think, to me honestly, I think Dragoon is all about timing. Um... How to use your perks and how to use your bonus ult. It's very important that we get these goos right here. This these goos come down this tree and they just die and it's actually annoying. Or they, they fall. They don't die. They fall. And this is why I need bone um this is why I need life drain because Dragoon is kind of close combat. Um so but yeah, there you go. Okay, so right here, this is very important. So this is going to be all about timing right here for your bonus ult charge. You see, I'll have down here, I have my bonus ult. Um, so when you have mobs like this, this is the reason why life drain is so important. If you're clearing out mobs, like multiple mobs, you see how I'm taking damage. All you really need to do is have life drain. And this is why it's going to be important. But we'll go over that in a bit. Oh, God. Here we go. So here we go. I use my ult. And I have my ult again. So I have my ult already and now I cleared. Now I got these two elites. The timing has to be perfect because as you can see, I have my bonus ult charge already and I'm moving forward. This is the reason why I like the butterflies because I have my bonus ult charge that would be do way more damage than a butterfly and a red lion um, because you're not going to be able to get those pets because they're un unobtainable, especially if uh, I think the unattainable, unobtainable pets are actually mob boss, boss of the boss stuff with attack up those are really hard to get so these are for new players i get it sometimes people are like oh i want to pay big bucks for it i mean you don't have to there's other ways to get around it like this method right here is actually very very perfect okay so now i'm gonna use this right you see the timing on that and i'm using my ult boom and now i have my ults again there see i got my ults again as you can see on the bottom, it's just on uh, the cooldown. I cleared a good certain uh, certain amount of mobs. I have health because th these right here, these are important. These health regens, those are important if you don't have life drain. So I guess I guess life drain's okay. I can keep the crit stack with the mob boss if I just keep doing these ones, like doing solo runs. Remember, it's all about timing on how you use it. If you, I mean, it's okay. I mean, if you don't have perfect timing. It's not that bad, but like if you have good timing, the Dragoon with the White Butterfly could be very, very effective when it comes to mob clearing. Um, but yeah, the White Butterfly to me, honestly, is probably like one of the best. It, it depends on the perk too. 
Yeah, I mean, if you have a white butterfly with boss of the boss or mob, bro, you're you're broken. Look at right here. Watch this. Boom. Timing. Boom. I have my ult again. There you go. I'm at 98. Got that. Boom. Clear. Get some health. These, like I said, those are important. It gives you health. So I guess the life drain is not that bad, right? But, I mean, it's always good to have life drain. So you're not worrying about it. You know what I mean? Definitely a pain, bro. So we get clear. Like I said, timing. Ooh. See, so you did some damage there. I want to keep some mobs up. Boom. Use my ult. Get that down. Boom. Get that down. Got some elites. I'm at 60 on my... Ooh. Uh. Stay on top. Alright. See, see, this is why I need life drain. Because I don't... It's like when I handle mob bosses like this. I mean, I guess it's not that bad, right? So I, do, I did a lot of damage. I could just use this or do some damage and boom took care of that guy boom right there see easy i got my ult and i could definitely do it again here on the clear again it's really your opinion bro like when it comes down to it it's important that i gather them up so i could maximize my abilities on the dps um, but again, this is just my opinion, bro. Like, if you think I'm wrong, dude, just let me know in the comment section below. Real, real, real talk. So, dropping this here. Getting my alt. Boom. Boom. Do some clearing. Obviously, the elites will take a little bit longer. I have my alt again. Do some clearing. Got that. Oh, God. See, this is why I need life drain. You see how I'm... I'm worried about dying. But I have my ult still though, so. Yeah, do some damage. Boom. I like the Dragoon because I could evade attacks. When it comes down to it. Ooh. Massive damage. And that's that, bro. That is that right there. So let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about the white butterfly i want to know your guys' opinions with the 15 bonus old charge along with the old charge but then again like i said it's my opinion bro it's no one else's opinion like i'm gonna go what i feel comfortable with and what i enjoy i'm not gonna sit here and be like ah oh, this is the best this is what you have to run that's just not me bro makes you just enjoy the game you know what i mean but for real let me know in the comment section below what you guys think is the best pet obviously everybody's gonna say unobtainable pets to have bob and mob whatever get out of here bro go touch grass i'm just saying some people are joining the game and you're just gonna ruin it for them bro like oh i can't get an obtainable pet i don't want to play this game anymore don't worry dude there's some there's some ways to go around that man so just let me know in the comment section below bro i'll see you guys next time uh